slick talker since a jet. Winter time, all the time, ooh. Yeah. Look at the way that I move. Swag. Disrespectful and I'm rude. Okay. I had cocaine in the school. Uh, winter one hell of a kid. Let's check it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna sub to good enough. I actually fuck with this nigga. Off one video, I really fucked with this content. Let's just sound fire. Let me, uh. Chris is playback though. Let's start with the strange and slowly work our way towards the most horrifying things on the list. Number 10, the four thieves vinegar. So legend has it that a group of four thieves would loot and ransack the homes of people who had recently- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the thing is fucking, yeah, bro, what does he be on when he decides to draw these niggas like this? What, <laughs> yo, what's the creative fucking process, bro? What is, what is the inspiration behind some of these illustrations right here, bro? Like what be going on through his head when he decides to make his characters look like this? This fucking atrocious, bro. This. This damn, this damn fucking, like, vulgar gang. Died like. from the plague. <laughs> they would go on to steal from dozens of victims without any of them ever getting sick. They stayed safe by rubbing a secret potion over their entire bodies. But eventually, these thieves would be caught and apprehended by the authorities. They were then offered their freedom in exchange for the recipe of this secret potion, which they revealed to be a mixture of vinegar, garlic, herbs, and spices. No one knows for certain if this story is true, but this was a very popular tale during this time period. Mm. This would lead merchants to go door to door selling this vinegar mixture as a That's preventative crazy. for the plague. Buyers were instructed to rub this potion on their hands, ears, that and shit temple. Probably would but smell if the like had them hooked ass. on the seat, Vinegar? Mixed with garlic and some other shit. Bro, do you know how musty you be smell smelling, bro? Nigga smell like a whole bunch of bounce that ass, bro, mixed with a horse cock. Like, nobody wants that. Dog, I don't care if that shit did work. I'm not using that shit as my deodorant, my nigga. That's not the cologne I'm repping. Simply Girl, put. He would simply just tell them to lather it over their entire bodies. Since everyone knows, the number one rule in sales is always upsell when you can. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly, this potion would work really well against the bubonic plague, thanks to the mixture containing the herb mugwort, which is a natural bug repellent. And since the bubonic plague was spread from the Rats, fleas of infected yeah. rodents, this would prove to be one of the very few remedies that actually work. Okay. But sadly, fleas were not the only way of contracting the black plague. The second method being much more more deadly and was most commonly spread from human to human. This would be known like as the pneumonic plague, which often carried a 100% mortality rate. Holy this form shit. usually spreads when a person inhales the airborne droplets yeah. of an infected person. Oh lord. Yeah, you cough, you're cooked. Like, simply put. Which caused the disease to infect the lungs. Mm -hmm. And of course, the potion would prove to be completely <laughs> useless against this form of infection. Number 9. Quack Doctors Throughout history, when the Black Plague would break out, those with financial means would flee from cities and escape to the countryside. This would of course include the majority of the city's doctors, leaving behind a massive and lucrative market for quacks, where they would post up on city corners selling powders, potions, magical All cures, All types of and stupid shit, bro. Plague doctors that don't actually work. Plague doctors who don't know what the fuck they on, nigga. They, they the home remedy, niggas. The motherfuckers who be like, eat this horse, eat this, eat this, eat this, like, pig fucking anus. And you'll end up feeling like you're 12 again. Like, you know what I mean? You'll have the youth of a child. Like, type shit, bro. Like, eat the eat the arm of a, a strange donkey and you'll fucking live 30 more years longer. Like, you know what I mean? Anything else that they could think of. They would yell at the top of their lungs at people walking by, letting them know that they were selling the latest and greatest cures or preventatives for the plague or any other ailments. Are you in search for the best preventative for the plague? Then you need to be eating unicorn horn powder. What the hell are you doing? Unicorn Have a stomach ache? Oh, oh, that's the first sign of the plague. So drink this fermented potion. Tastes terrible. Shut up and drink it. Don't you want to feel better? Of course you do. Feeling ill? Eat a baby foot. Have a headache? Place this magical stone foot? under your bed. Sniff the squirrel hide. Cover yourself in salmon oil and jump into your neighbor's bath. You will be feeling better by tomorrow. But if for some reason, by some miracle, my 100% guaranteed remedy doesn't work, come back for a full refund after 10 days of your initial first symptoms. Now, here's a list of some of the most common items that a quack doctor would sell throughout history, just so you can get an idea of how scummy these guys really were. <clears throat> Snake oil. Of course, chill and fever tonic, miracle elixirs that cured pretty much everything, ointments that would cure baldness, but my favorite one, a tincture that would restore life in the event of sudden death. What? Bro, imagine you bought, nah, that's the biggest, nah, that's the most fucked up shit ever. How would that nigga even have that? Like, how would you even grasp the power of, to bring somebody back to life through a liquid? But imagine somebody really bought that potion, waited for the day, nigga. Sh like, your your boy got shot. Your your wife is dying, bleeding out on the ground type shit, bro. You're panicking, you're crying type shit. Bro, you remember you had the fucking bring me to life elixir, nigga. Elixir, nigga. You pour it in your mouth, and so he just chokes on that shit and dies. Could you imagine, bro? Like, just, just bro, I look at, bro, I hunt that nigga down, real shit, nigga. I look at that label, nigga. I crush the bottle with my hand, nigga, and I hunt that nigga down. On God for eternity, bro. That nigga has to pay, bro. Retributions have to be made, gang. 
Nigg niggas cannot walk around. N like, I commit no, nigga. I get revenge. Niggas are not allowed to be walking around this earth, bro, knowing what they did, bro. Ain't no way. <laughs> and since these quacks sold whatever they wanted, we can only assume that there's probably hundreds of other items that were never documented. Number 8. Urine Back during the medieval period, urine had a great reputation since it was thought to have cleansing and healing properties. So now niggas were taking the yellow showers for for fun. Niggas were doing that shit for 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 actual purposes. Truly, it would be used as a form of treatment for the plague. Finally, a remedy I can afford. <laughs> Anyone infected with the disease was encouraged to take a bath with clean urine to relieve some of their pain. Clean urine? How, that that's that, that not that uh, what? How does that make sense, nigga? Clean urine? Urine is literally your waste. It's your body's waste. That shit ain't clean, period. Like, that shit ain't... Nothing about urine is clean, bro. How do you clean urine? Any Wait, you put that shit in a filter? Like, nigga, that's just water. <laughs> like, what? Wait. Anyone infected with the disease was encouraged to take a bath with clean urine to relieve some of their painful symptoms. The urine would be collected from healthy people and sold to the sick. Where oh, that's so not okay. I mean... Clean, like, healthy niggas, you are, you're catching a bag right there, but sick niggas, that, not only is you fucking drinking and bathing in another man's piss, <laughs> but, like, that you that shit ain't even gonna work, nigga. Like, no, not, uh, uh, no, bro, that takes a whole nother level of get shitted on, nigga, get pissed on, get pissed on, nigga. Like, bro, do you know how fucking demoralized I'd feel, bro? How fucking bitch made I'd feel after sipping a nigga's piss and just for that shit not to work, bro? Like the nigga who like the nigga who sold me my that piss gotta run my shit because there's ain't no way, bro. Nigga really made you drink his piss, bro, for nothing. Or it was then no. added to their bath water, or better yet, consumed directly from the glass. But if I was alive during this time period, what if it was I'd... a goth girl? All right, say no more, say no more. I beat that same man. I get no I'm sad, bro. Goth girls ain't even all that no more, bro. Them nigga, them, them shorties are still probably like top three. Most attractive, in my opinion, but like, bro, it ain't, it ain't even all that type of shit. For one, can never bring myself to partake in such a disgusting and humiliating chat, practice. Buying from a middleman. Since I always say, drinks are at their best straight from the faucet. Number seven, miasma theory. One of the most no, 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 no. Popular theories at this time was that the plague was contracted by inhaling bad type? Yeah, you'd be damn or simply right, put bad odors. The long list of these bad smells included organic and human waste, decaying flesh, contaminated water, and of course, the Dutch oven, which was a guaranteed way to be put on trial for attempted murder. Bad smells were believed to carry contaminated air, which once inhaled would lead to illness. The public was encouraged to carry around flowers, rose petals, or herbs, which they would oftentimes hold to their nostrils, since they believed that the sweet smell would- These niggas are still stupid, bro. I mean, to be fair, this is an earlier time. Niggas are mad ignorant. They don't understand. They don't understand, bro. They don't understand. But it's just, like, as a person born in the, like, in, in the age of, like, fucking modern technology and just, like, all these advances and shit like that to, like, under, to think, bro, like, bro, what is use inhaling a sweet scent gotta do with, like, bro, that's just not blocking away the fucking bad shit around you, bro. That's just making you smell the sweet shit, bro. Like, that shit's still entering your body, my brother. Cancel out the bad you. air. This is one of the reasons plague doctors, plague doctors wear these mask. terrifying masks. Since the beak would be nah, filled with... Plague Stop it. The play doctors had the drippiest of drip, nigga. Play doctors were Yo, where's that? Bro, not nah, real shit, nigga. There was this one plague doctor, uh, girl on TikTok who would dance, bro. Dog, Shoddy was so bad. I didn't even know what she looked like, but Shoddy was the baddest, bro. This girl was so bad. I don't know why, bro. Yo, I used to see her TikToks. Oh, D, I'd be like, yeah, bro, that's my. I'd be like, that's me right there, gang. Nigga, I was in her DMs and shit like that, nigga begging for a chance. You know what I'm saying? So he never responded. It's life, though. Flowers and spices, which they believed helped keep the disease at bay. But of course, these wonderful smells did yeah, absolutely nothing brain, right? in preventing people from catching the plague. Plague fanboy doctor. Yeah, ban that nigga. Ban that nigga. Simply put, ban that nigga. Let me stop. If anything, it just gave people a false sense of security. Number six, leeches. Leeches were commonly used by the wealthy as a form- Yeah, leeches work though, no? Didn't leeches not work to an extent? To like- I- I don't remember. Of bloodletting. And was relatively painless- Like to put them shits on, let them suck a little bit, and then burn them off? 
considering what the alternative was. Put more on that one later. Bloodletting is when blood is drained from a patient. Usually, that's what I'm saying. We just did uh, cure some diseases. I I'm not tweaking off that. I don't what the fuck is happening here, though? That's not leeches, that looks like stabbing. Thing what the alternative was. Put more on that one later. Bloodletting is when blood is drained from a patient, usually from an incision or leeches. Here, the leeches would be placed on a person's body while they kick back, relax, and let the leeches go to town. The theory behind this was that the leeches would suck out the bad blood, which was thought to cause illness. But the irony being that the leeches bite was the thing that could make them ill, since yeah, it always carried true. the chance of developing an infection. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that nigga looks grotesque. That now, is fact, originally, so. I didn't think this whole leech operation sounded too bad until I saw the diagram for the most common location. No way nigga's putting a leech on my penis. Simply put, I don't care. I don't care how down bad I am, how down bad anybody can be in like point blank period. If you have a leech slurping on your penis, bro, you're actually canceled. Oh my god, you're canceled and I never want to associate with you ever again. If any of you would genuinely put a leech on your penis to suck the blood out, um, I want you to, like, could you even get hard at that point? If the blood flows to your penis and you put a leech on that and it's sucking the blood out, would that even, would that cancel it? Would that make you not hard? Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit must feel good. That sucker might be grippy. Bro got the demonic head. Yeah. Go ahead, Envy. Time out. Uh, go easy. Time out, uh, King. Time, and time yourself out, too, while you're at it, bro, please. Go ahead, go ahead and do that for me. Patients for blood right, you're asking that real question, the real question here. Now, I'm not asking the questions, bro. I'm making a statement. They're two very different things. I'm telling you not to do it, bro. Number five, the Vickery method. The Vickery <laughs> method was named after Thomas Vickery, the English doctor Wait, bro, who invented what? the technique. And this would become one of the most popular cures during the plague. This first begins with a healthy chicken having its bottom plucked clean. The chicken's back door is then placed directly on a sick <laughs> Leech attack may be one of the most insane things I've heard on stream. Yeah, bro. Time out for facts. No, nigga, no facts. Nigga, no facts. Nigga, no facts. It's Bubo. Raptor is a hater. I ain't a hater, nigga. I'm an innovator, all right? I believe in, I believe, you know what I'm saying? In, um, you know what I mean? In ushering a new era, bro. Maybe leeches might be method, bro. But I don't care. I don't care if that shit feels God sent. I don't care, nigga. I'm not letting an insect slurp my penis. I'm not letting some fucking some fucking shit that looks like fecal matter slurp on my dick. I don't care, bro. I don't care how heavenly it feels. There's something called limits <laughs> that I'm not willing to break, bro. And strap down game to keep it in game, place. Even the, in the logic play. behind this <laughs> is based on the belief that chickens breathe through their back no, door. Bro. So in theory, it would. What? All right. Look out and absorb the sickness from the person. Why? The Who thought that? Why? If contracts the plague from the human and begins to show signs of illness, people would oftentimes take this as a sign that the remedy was working. If the chicken happens to die before the human, another chicken simply takes its place. Now, I can always said, I mean, better a leech suck your blood and your dick than a girl suck your dick and your wallet. I'm not gonna speak on that because that nigga might be spitting actually. That nigga, that nigga might be spitting! That nigga might be out of time! Since there isn't much written on the subject, but this seems like a sure way to get an infection. You see, bubos would oftentimes grow so large that they would rupture, and a chicken's bottom attached to an open wound just seems like the best way to get your admission ticket to the afterlife. <laughs> Number four, flagellation. What in Europe, flag oh, that's whipping, right? Flagellation. Period. Is whipping, right? Religion was deeply ingrained into all aspects of yeah. life. So naturally, people began to believe that the Black Plague was simply a punishment from God, God for yeah. their sins. Soon, groups of people began to gather whipping and walk the streets while vigorously whipping themselves <laughs> as a public display of. <laughs> Look at this lady, bro. <laughs> Like, yo. While I, for one, prefer to keep this king cat home, <laughs> yeah. to each their own. These groups of people would use leather yeah. whips with knotted tails, but what? some show-offs would take it a step further by <laughs> adding nails to their whip. What? No, bro, I don't... Yo, bro, nah, niggas is mad, bro. <laughs> niggas, is, niggas is upgrading their whips like this is the apocalypse. Motherfuckers, no, motherfuckers don't pack a punch they whips, bro. That's nutty, bro. These niggas, these niggas doing arts and crafts with their shit. What the fuck are we on, bro? right now Oops. These putting nails on is nuts would recruit others when they would slowly walk from town to town whipping their own backs and carrying crosses they would do this act multiple times a day but the real tragedy would come when one of these individuals would be infected with the plague since they were left to fight an uphill battle with an already deadly disease and having a weak body that was severely cut up from the self-inflicted wounds definitely didn't help number three feces as time went on, physicians began to try all sorts of bizarre methods in the hopes of finding a cure, with this special paste being one of them. The paste consisted of tree resin, flower roots, and human poop. 
This operation would first begin with a patient's- But, I, okay, I guess you're just trying anything at that point, but it's just like, what would garner you to use your poop? Like, that's your feces, like, that's your, like, waste. Like, it's the same thing with piss, it's your waste. You're not supposed to, like, it's, it's, ah, oh, God, it's like coming out of you. Like, when shit leaves your body, that's for good, you know what I mean? When you're sick- and you're congested and you're like constantly sneezing and shit like that or your nose is dripping that's you tr that's your body trying to like get rid of the fucking bad uh, juju and shit like that like i don't know the exact terminology but like you know what i mean the bad fucking like bacteria and all that nonsense you know what i mean it's trying to like take that shit out you feel me it's like the same shit when you like when you're hot and you like sweat or whatever the fuck you know what i mean it's to cool your body down some more shit bro it's like your body does this shit like when you shit like it does it to help you essentially is what i'm trying to say bro you know what I'm saying? Why the fuck are niggas putting that shit back into your body? That's just counterproductive. Bubo's getting sliced open, and as soon as the incision was made, it would then be stuffed with a paste, Dude, then tightly wrapped no. and sealed to hold fuck everything no. in place. Fuck Patients no. would then be instructed to get some bed rest and wait. Now, if the patient's body part had not fallen off by the following morning, they would for sure be left fighting a losing battle, since it had now turned into a 2v1 with oh a person fighting God. against the plague and the oh infection. God, Number two, oh bloodletting. This was an extremely popular medical oh procedure that was God. used from ancient times all the way through the late 19th century. This procedure was in fact so popular that during the medieval period, this would oftentimes be the first thing a doctor would recommend. This absolute nightmare would first start with a person getting their arm sliced open and allowing the blood to drain into a bowl. Now, if a cut on the arm made you uncomfortable, comfortable don't worry since you always have the option to have the incision made on your neck instead <laughs> now the what? instruments that were used to what? slice patients open what? looked like this but just covered in blood from the previous patient since being like sanitary being wasn't much of a concern during yeah. this time period which of course would cause many patients to die from infection <laughs> but one of the most concerning things about this procedure Am I was fucked up for laughing at like this imagery bro <laughs> it's so fucking it's so whack looking but it's like <laughs> bro what the how did this nigga come up with this bro this nigga was responsible for salad fingers y'all remember salad fingers on god this nigga had to be the one who drew that shit on god he had to be the one who did that because i can't um, i can't picture a more like disgusting looking thing in like in my life than like that and salad finger bro like this thing is different bro every frame every picture i see or every drawing of one of these stick figures it's just worse and worse it just keeps getting bad bro it keeps getting worse would cause many patients to die from infection but one of the most concerning things about this procedure was the amount of blood that would be drained since it was common practice to increase head, the amount drained <laughs> based on the severity of the person's sickness I have a headache that's two teaspoons a fever that's 16 ounces. A crippling social anxiety that prevents you from enjoying social gatherings. That's yep, that one is about a gallon. gallon. Yeah. <laughs> now, surprisingly, doctors were not usually the person to perform bloodletting and was actually a task left for barbers since they were a lot more skilled in handling razors. Uh, this is I the mean, reason why I, they began to okay. place the red stripe on the barber pole outside of the... Are you dead ass? building since it would let the public know that surgery was performed inside. Barbers would also pull teeth, amputate limbs, Yo. and make holes in people. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a little off the top, nigga. I just wanted a little off the top. What are you doing to me? <laughs> what type of brain is you giving me, nigga? What, this is a different level ahead. This is beyond that. What type of shit is this, bro? Your barber? Imagine you go to get a cut, nigga, and he does this to you, bro. That nigga starts doing shit like... Nah, actually, bro, I wouldn't even be surprised. Because you see the fuckery barbers be doing all, all the time anyways, bro. Like, fucking barbers be putting flamethrowers to their fucking patients' heads and shit like that. Eating fucking food off that shit, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm like, like Mc he does literally hair. Cooking like, this shit. Nigga. Why are you cooking ramen on his head? That is like, nasty. 99% <laughs> is is of his TikTok. What is, is that? Wasted. What is that? What did he just put on that shit, bro? Food by cooking his breakfast in someone's... My nigga, what? Like... Yeah, I don't understand why people are even going here. Like, bro, you need a fucking dentist. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah, that nigga is that nigga's from the UK for sure, for sure. That nigga is from the UK, hands People's down. People's heads. 
Number one, he extermination. Brushed. Now, he this brushed. would easily be the most extreme measure taken during the medieval period in the attempt to stop the plague. <laughs> one of the groups that was heavily targeted were the Jewish. This would first start when the rumors began to circulate that the Jews had intentionally poisoned the drinking wells. So on September of 1348, a group of Jews would be taken as prisoners to Chilin Castle on Lake Geneva. There, they were brutally tortured until one of them would finally confess to poisoning the drinking water, which of course was, was not lie. true. Yeah. The information of this confession was then sent to various cities in Germany. Like, and once the news arrived, it began to spread like Oh, nah. Ah, uh, Jake, is this is this the is this the pre pre is this is this the shit? That, is this is what Hitler used as like proof. Is this what Hitler uses proof to start an uprising, nigga? Because there's ain't no way, bro. There ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way, ain't no way. Hellfire throughout ain't many no countries way, in Europe, and thousands of Jews would then be targeted and murdered. For that nigga, listen, bro, listen, bro, listen, bro. I'm not getting deep into Palestine versus Jews, but bro, why the fuck? Why the why the why the fuck like? Why are Jews and like why like bro like do why are Jews always getting persecuted in history, nigga? Like why, bro? I mean now they doing a whole lot of you know bombing and shit on Palestine. Free my niggas, R.I.P. We ain't gonna talk too deep about that shit. But like real shit, nigga. Why were they always being the odd man out? Them niggas were always fucking with the Jews back in history, dog. Like I feel like every time you like, like you like. I mean no, but like so is everywhere. Literally Africa, nigga. Fucking, uh, the natives when we pulled up, nigga. Like, everybody. What? And we call them niggas natives. I mean, I, they are native to land. I'm tweaking. But, you know what I mean? But, like, but, like, or, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, like, I mean, no, they're not native to shit. What am I talking about? But, like, it's just, like, bro, but, like, I don't know, bro. It's, like, you just hear the most about Jewish people. It was they're even documented that Jews from the right age of now, seven like and up word. were all considered guilty for this crime. <laughs> what? The belief was that they all had previous knowledge of this plan, even though the Jewish community was clearly suffering as they themselves were being decimated by the plague. But this wouldn't seem to matter to the general public, and the killings would tragically continue. Dude, and it wouldn't oh be until God. the spread of the plague began to slow down that the murders would too. That's so crazy. <laughs> it's so nuts. God damn. All right.